Mother opossums, or possums as they are often called, are amazing. The opossum is a marsupial or pouch mammal. Members include the kangaroo, koala, Tasmanian devil, and the Virginia opossum. Actually a rather exotic animal that lives in our North American backyards and we take for granted. There are over 65 species of possums. Only one, the Virginia opossum, is native to North America. Marsupials give birth to fetal-like young following a brief gestation period. The young then nurse for an extended period of time. It's generally accepted that a marsupial is a non-placental mammal whose female carries her young in a pouch or marsupium, which provides the developing young with a proper nurturing environment. Without a long-lasting and functional placenta, the young must be born early in their development after a short gestation period. Marsupial young are basically embryos at birth. Once born, the young must climb with a swimming motion up the fur on the female's abdomen and latch onto a teat. The breeding season for the Virginia opossum can begin as early as December and continue through October, with most infants born between the months of February and June. A female opossum may have one to three litters per year. During the mating season, the male attracts the female by making clicking sounds with his mouth. I plan on making another film on the interesting and somewhat humorous courtship process of possums in the future. Eleven to thirteen days after mating, the infant possums are born. An average litter consists of eight to nine infants. The infants are so small at birth that 20 of them could fit on a teaspoon. Each of the hairless, embryonic looking pinkies are no larger than the size of a bee and weigh a fraction of an ounce. At birth, the infants must make a long and difficult journey from the birth canal into the pouch latch on to a teat and continue their development. The mother helps by licking the hair leading into the pouch, providing a moist path for the infants to follow. The teat swells in the infant's mouth, helping it to remain attached for about two months and providing a source of nutrition. On average, there are only 13 teats in the pouch, and not all may be functional. If more infants are born than the number of functional teats available, the excess infants will not survive. And if only one individual attaches, milk production by the mother probably will not occur. The young possums remain in the pouch for about two and a half months, and at about 55 to 70 days, the eyes open. As they become too large to fit in the pouch, they climb onto the mother's back and are carried around as she searches for food. At this time, the young are learning survival skills such as finding food sources and predator avoidance. If one of the young becomes separated from its mother, it'll make sneezing sounds to call her. Mother, in turn, will make clicking sounds. The young are weaned at about three months of age and are on their own at about four and a half to five months when they are seven to nine inches long from nose to the base of the tail. In a few months, they will reproduce and continue the fascinating life cycle of the Virginia opossum. Breeding season brings on two major consequences. First, males extending their range to search for mates are more subject to injury or death by cars, dogs, and other predators. And second, the females laden with young cannot run as fast, and they have to forage earlier in the evening and later in the morning. They risk exposing themselves to increased predation and more encounters with people, pets, and cars with possible injurious or fatal consequences. Many times the mother does not survive these encounters and the young, sometimes found still alive in the pouch, should be taken to wildlife rehabilitators. The opossum has many interesting features. It has 50 teeth more than any North American land mammal. Its hairless tail is prehensile and is used for grasping branches, balancing and carrying nesting material. The opossum does not hang upside down by the tail, a common misconception. The opossum also has opposable thumbs on its hind feet for holding on to branches. Opossums are a benefit to any area they inhabit. Their diet includes all types of bugs and insects, including ticks, important to reduce the spread of Lyme disease, cockroaches, crickets, and beetles, and they love snails. They also eat mice and rats and small snakes, both venomous and non-venomous. Actually, possums are immune to most venomous snake bites.
The nocturnal opossum is attracted to our neighborhoods by the availability of water, pet food left out at night, and overripe rotting foods that has fallen from ornamental trees. The opossum in turn helps keep our neighborhoods clean and free of unwanted harmful garden pests and rodents which may carry disease. The opossum has earned the title of nature's little sanitary engineer. The opossum has an average lifespan of one to two years and this short lifespan is due in part to the presence of many predators including dogs, cats, and people. Sometimes the opossum is able to escape death by playing possum or feigning death and in so doing the predator may lose interest in the apparently dead animal and not eat it. Most of the information in this video comes from the Opossum Society of the United States and I'll include information about their organization in the description.